Good evening and welcome to Kruik Tarbet. So out today, uh, just for a quick one-nighter, um, just to try out a new piece of equipment. And this evening we're going to be trying the Nordisk Telemark Ultralight 2. So this is my latest tent. Um, I've been looking for a larger tent for winter use because um, whilst the Jack Wolfskin is an absolute outstanding tent and I still think it's easier to put up than this um, I needed a bit more space inside because the uh, the Wolfskin can't I can't get everything inside the tent uh, and when it comes you know you don't want any of your gear out in the frost and um, and all that kind of thing so with this thing I can actually get my rucksack inside so uh, Best thing to do is give you a quick look around, eh? So similar to the Jack Wolfskin, it's a pitch in one tent, which I like and obviously is very helpful in a, in a wet climate. I've not mastered putting it up yet. It took quite a lot of doing, I've got to say. Um, and it doesn't help that I've found a, an area just about the only area that's flat up here and uh, that's dry but it's on stony ground there's granite underneath it so I'm hoping that the wind's not going to get up it's not as tight as I'd like to have got it um, but as long as it doesn't blow away in the night with me in it I think we're going to be fine chicken curry from Go Outdoors. It's not a bad, bad place to live, is it? Sun's just starting to disappear now. That's uh, that meal that were from um, Go Outdoors. It were alright. It were a chicken curry. I mean, it were the best rated meal that they did, but it would it would be just a bit too ricey for me. It tasted okay, but I got a bit fed up of it. Well, here we are inside the tent now. It's. Uh... I've got to say, I do like the the gold lining and all that kind of stuff. It goes with me with my gold robe and sleeping bag, which is nice. It's uh, I need, like I said earlier, I think I've got to work on pitching it and getting it tight enough and all that kind of stuff because it's a bit it's a bit flappy in here. But there's loads of space. I mean, certainly not big enough for two people. Very very good quality inside. I mean, all the all the, the piping and all that kind of stuff's nicely finished and um, it's good and it's got a bit of a ventilation screen here and then there's a vent just outside there so that should reduce condensation a little bit of space down there for my buits and I've got my bag and sweaty clothing drying out here magazine just reading the magazine here so all good really all good so far so good and very happy Morning. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, 20 past eight. Um, a reasonable night, nothing spectacular really. Quite cold. I need to. Uh, I need to work out. Um, bringing a few extra layers. I think even even if it does add weight, there's no point being cold. I think it's because it was uh, it was so warm last night, and then the the massive temperature drop. There was quite a lot of condensation in the tent and it was touching the inner so I had to get out and uh, readjust the guys a little bit better. Anyway, I managed to sort it out but me, uh, the bottom of my sleeping bag were getting wet and that's no good. But all dry this morning, quite overcast, there's a lot of rain forecast today so I'm going to make haste. Uh, um, other than that, and as I said yesterday, I'm just going to practice pitching this tent, you know, and um, Space was good. Um, taking it all down, you know, and again, because it's a pitching one, it should be okay once I get some practice. Anyway, I shall head down the hill 
um, maybe get a couple of a couple of uh, videos of Arica as we get closer to it. I just had to stop for five minutes because I've just had to pull a tick out of my arm, which uh, is a very unpleasant little thing. But the good news was that I did have some tick tweezers and I got the fella out whole and I've got me my cleansing wipes as well so all should be well there it's a, it's a it's a toughie you see because you know you've got these flies buzzing around all the time and you just don't know whether they're a fly or whether you're a tick and all that kind of stuff and I think that's one of the things that just you've just got to be careful with anyway we shall double check when we get home dirty little things they are anyway above Sucketh now on the outskirts of Arica, uh, so not far from home. <laughs> 